welcome. Now we talk about securities. And as we said, securities are financial instruments for assets that is readily tradable in the market or in the exchange. Now today, we're going to talk about other investment alternatives. At ano-ano yun? Usually, di ba, palagi natin pinag-uusapan are equity shares or stocks or the stock market. When we talk about the equity shares or the stock market, pinag-uusapan natin dito are common or ordinary shares. Ano tong common or ordinary shares? Well, first, ang nature ng isang equity shares is it represents an ownership of a company. Number one, ibig sabihin, kasosyo ka. So, if you say you own Jollibee Food Corporation shares, that means stockholder ka ng Jollibee Food Corporation or kasosyo ka. Now, a common or ordinary shares is an investor which has a residual claim of income at assets. Ibig sabihin, pag-aari mo rin yung mga uh, buildings, computers, tables, or anything about that company, kasama ka doon, pag-aari ka doon. And you have rights to control and preemptive right. Or dahil meron kang voting rights. Well, yung common or ordinary shares receives dividends and capital appreciation or yung value ng ordinary shares tumataas or sometimes bumababa din naman because by nature yung common shares is volatile. Now, this is what we're going to talk about today about alternative securities. That is the fixed income securities. What are the other types of fixed income securities? Number one, yung kabaliktaran ng common shares or ordinary shares. That is preferred shares or preference shares. Bakit? Yung preference shares kasi, para siyang may characteristics of an equity or in terms of ownership, but also has an attributes of a fixed income. Ibig sabihin, although it is still an equity, or sort of an ownership, wala talaga siyang voting rights. So parang wala kang say as a management ng company niyan. In return, stable yung dividend uh, giving ng company na to. Makaka-receive ka, let's say, 5% ng stable or mo, but modest. Also, yung presyo niya or value niya or market price is not moving or is not very volatile or sometimes very, very stable nga. This is also traded in the market which gives liquidity. But, you know, compared to common shares, medyo mas mababa yung binibigay na dividend neto. Yung common shares naman, well, hindi... Uh, hindi pinapromise like preference shares which is the dividend is promised sa common shares when the company is doing so well it gives good uh, dividends. Now, other types of fixed income securities are debentures and bonds. Ito naman, these are long-term debt instrument or the company offers bonds or debentures and in return, yung mga investors or the bondholders para kang lenders or as you invest, you lend money to the corporations. And as a bondholder, you receive a pre-established number of interest payments at either fixed or variable rate until maturity. Ito naman, the risk and return are lower than the common shares but higher than the bank fixed deposits. Next, government securities. These are marketable debt instruments issued by the government or semi-government. The government issues uh, securities and then the investors 
will buy the securities in return para kang nagpapautang sa gobyerno. In return, you receive a yield or an interest. A kind of interest, that is what we call risk-free interest rate. Well, in the following chapters, we will talk about risk-free interest rate. Next, there are other types of government securities. Number one, treasury bills, treasury notes, and treasury bonds. Treasury bills are short-term uh, treasuries. Um, sometimes it's 91 days, 182 days, or 364 days, or less than a year. Yung treasury notes naman is a medium-term treasury which uh, yung maturity niya is 2 to 10 years. And the long term is the treasury bonds. This is more than 10 years. Now, other fixed income securities are money market instruments. Well, napag-usapan na natin kanina, treasury bills, and now, the commercial paper. In commercial paper naman, is a short-term unsecured promissory notes issued by firms. It is issued as a discount to face a value and is redeemable at a, at, on a maturity. Next is a certificate of deposits. This certificate of deposits represents a title to a negotiable deposit with a commercial bank. It carries an attractive uh, interest rate and issued as a discount to face value and is redeemable at par on maturity. This is traded over the counter with direct counterparty. And that's it for now. See you again next chapter. Bye-bye. For more ICCT Colleges video updates, please subscribe and click the notification button.